Welcome to Jazz Time. Jazztime.com is an online store that buys, sells, trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so our customers can easily choose the best watch for themselves in the comfort of their own home. If you would like to know the price, simply click on the link in the description below. If you enjoy our videos, we would greatly appreciate it if you would buy a watch at Jazztime.com. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Rolex Oyster Perpetual 34 reference 114200 black dial on Oyster bracelet. I'm going to talk to you guys about the bezel, the dial, the case, the bracelet, buckle, movement, and then give you my thoughts. Let's dive right in. It's an Oyster case, 34 millimeters. That's my thumb to my index finger. Now they make this watch in 28, 31, 34, 36, 39. I know it's a lot of different uh, sizes, but this one's a 34 millimeter and it's the third largest. They make a 36 and a 39. Generally, 36 is for men, which is a mid size for men, and 39 is a large size for men. Now 34 is about as large as a woman usually wears, although it could also be a mid-size for, for women. They also make a 31 and a 28. So 28 would be the small, 31 would be the uh, medium, 34 would be the large, and 36 would be the extra large. So uh, you could, that's how you could see it. This one would be the, the well, 34, I mean, it's the third highest, third largest one for women. So if you want a larger watch for a woman, this would be a, naturally a very good choice. Now it uses stainless steel. In fact, the whole watch is stainless steel. The case, which is what is housing the movement and the dial, is a monoblock middle case. That means it's one piece of stainless steel. In fact, it's made of 904L steel, which is Rolex's hardest steel. In fact, it is the hardest steel. It's it's scratch resistant and anti-corrosive. That's another good reason to choose this watch because it'll remain, it'll keep its luster throughout its life, which actually the life will probably outlast both of us who are watching this video. So it's it made, uh, Rolex calls this oyster steel. It's basically just stainless steel. And, um, you know, it's not a precious metal, but it makes this watch very robust. In fact, I really like stainless steel and I wear a stainless steel watch myself. Even though it's not a precious material, it's still a precious watch because it has Rolex and these watches take a long time to make. Now let's move on to the, the bezel. The bezel, Oyster Perpetuals only make this one style bezel, which is a domed bezel. It's made of stainless steel and it's made and it's domed. And they only make it in this option, so that's the only option you can get. Okay, the waterproof uh, resistance is 100 meters. The uh, crystal is scratch resistant, as you see. Now let's move on to the movement. The movement, since you guys aren't really ever going to see the movement, I'll just tell you it's a caliber 3130. It has a precision of plus minus two seconds a day and a power reserve of 48 hours. That means you could put this watch down on Friday, pick it up on Sunday, and it'll still be ticking. That's a pretty good thing. Now let's talk about the bracelet. The bracelet is an Oyster bracelet. They only make this watch in one bracelet. And I'll bring your attention to a few differences. Is Notice this bracelet has three flat piece link across. One, two, and three. And it's all brushed stainless steel. Now the Datejust version, the higher up version, uses a half polish half polished polish down the center and brush down the edges oyster perpetual is their entry level watch and therefore does not have any high polish that's actually a good thing in some for some people because they like their watches not looking so flashy although if you look at the side right here it does have a, a, a polish down the side but on the center right here it's all brushed and you can notice that that's actually the case as well and that's the difference between the oyster perpetual line and the datejust look at the oyster perpetual right here where my fingers point to is a high polish and on the top of the watch it's brushed now that gives it some symmetry i, I really like that touch and it also allows it for it to be not so scratch proof i mean scratch um it, it scratches less Okay, now let's talk about the dial here. Now, you might think black is a little boring, but guess what? Black matches everything, and it's also easy to, to read. As you see here, I'm shining a UV light at it, and that's what it looks like under UV light. So you can actually read this watch at night. Now, Rolex has gone with all stick dials 
and they're really not doing any Roman dials for this Oyster Perpetual, so that's all you can choose from. Now, currently they have a bunch of different dials of which you can go to jazzdime.com to purchase, or you can even purchase this black one at jazzdime.com. Now, let's move on to this buckle. Now, this is kind of interesting. It, the buckle is an Oyster clasp, and it simply closes like that. And what I'll, I'll notice, you notice it on their entry level, they don't have a raised insignia on the Rolex. It's actually an engraved Rolex insignia. You see that if I run my hand, finger over it, it's actually flat. Actually, it's indented. That's one difference between this and the Datejust. And if you look at also the buckle, you'll notice that here it's completely sandblasted. Whereas on the day just it's actually high polished so some people think well that's a zonk well that depends you know some people like their watches not looking so flashy and they actually like the brushed feel so i told you i would give you my thoughts now my thoughts are this is an excellent uh value watch you get a rolex for right around five thousand dollars maybe even less and it it looks like a rolex it is a rolex it is quite scratch resistant, it's durable, you could wear it to pretty much everything, and it's still really not that expensive. I mean, being right around the 5,000 range, and you know what, looking at it on my wrist, I'm an average man with above average intelligence, and you see this 34 millimeter actually fits on me just fine. So for a woman, it would be a little bit big, but if a woman likes big watches, 34 would be pretty good. Now, if I were a man, I probably would not go with a 34, um, I would probably go with a 36, but then again, you know what, a man could still get away with a 34. It would be a small size for a man, 34 being the small, 36 being medium, and 39 being large for man. So this watch actually really could go either way, it depends on how you like to wear your watch or what your size of your wrist is. All right, so anyways, if you wanna buy this watch or if you like this video, please go to our website and buy this watch, which is the reason why I'm making this video. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazztime, plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in, and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.